Hi Kathleen, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, my name is Kathleen Schmidt. I am a process chromatography consultant with BioRad. I work in the northwest region of the United States and south, southwest uh, Canada. Kathleen, what exactly is a process chromatography specialist? A protein chromatography specialist is a person who specializes in, in protein purification, uh, mainly in the biotech realm, but I've also seen it in the food industry. It's someone who can go in and help troubleshoot some of the protein issues that come up with different types of resins. There's a million different resins out there, so a consultant or specialist would go into the company and help them decide and determine which resin would fit best into their process, giving them the output that they want, as well as which one would fit into, into their process uh, financially as well. So why did you move from industry to sales? I had worked for a company that closed its doors last December, and I really wanted to do something different. I'd been doing the same scientist type of process development work for about 20 years, and I really wanted to do something different without having to start at the bottom again and searching the job boards. I kept coming across this position and it just intrigued me and the, the more I looked at it, the more excited I would get about it. I, I love the prospect of going into a thousand different companies and learning their science and becoming part of their team and helping them troubleshoot their issues instead of going through the same doors every day and, and troubleshooting similar similar um, issues. It, it's just intriguing to me. It's, it's a great opportunity to use the experience I've gained over 20 years. In, into a new area for me. So how are process chromatography sales different than other type of sales? Process chromatography is in somewhat a class of its own. Uh, it takes a long time to build a relationship with a client to incorporate the resin into their system for use for their drug product. Sometimes it could take 5, 10, 15 years before you see profit from that sale when the product goes to commercialization. So that in itself is different. Then you have the other side of the gamut where you may work with a client for five or ten years, incorporate the resin into their system, it's going great and something goes wrong in the clinical trials and when that happens the product is nixed and you start from ground zero and work on a different product. And what changes have you seen recently in the biotech industry? About 20 years ago when I started the industry all the different groups were rather siloed so discovery would work within themselves, R&D would work, process development would work. This became an issue because as the product would move through these realms, by the time it got to process development, we may have found, oh my gosh, we cannot scale this resin up. We need to start from ground zero. So that's 10 years of wasted work that you're trying to slam into three months trying to get it back onto timeline. Whereas more recently, in the past four, five, six years, it seems that all of the different groups are starting to talk together. They're building teams that are interactive between discovery, R&D, and process development. And from the time the drug is discovered, we're all on board. Um, so people in commercialization can give their input whether, okay, that is a feasible way to go. It's, it's a much better way to go. It's, it saves time in the end. It saves money, resources. It's, it's coming together for the good. Thank you, Kathleen. It's been so interesting learning about chromatography from you. You're very welcome. It was fun. Yeah, enjoy your time.